the life of a single guy living off of 1,000 USD a month, or it's equal to about 55,000 Philippine pesos. Let's first look at a basic low budget for the Philippines in general. This is uh, as low as you can go in the Philippines. Then we will get into like my specific life here in Angeles, like specifically one typical day, how much I spend, how much that equals at the end of the month. So you can have like a general budget that you can customize yourself. So in a rule of thumb, you can work with this kind of budget here. I won't spell it out for you. You can read it on the screen, but that's how it is. Okay. So that equals out to being about 31,000 pesos. And that is basic low budget. Okay. For basically 99% of the country, 99% of the Philippines. Okay. You can, you can work with this budget. And again, this budget is as about as it's about as low as you can get for a foreigner living in the Philippines. Remember that if you get like an unfurnished place and sign a one-year lease, you can get this rent much cheaper. You can get, I know someone in Tarlock who has a brand new, brand new apartment for, I think it's 6,000 pesos. Okay. But you know, he had to sign a one-year lease, get his own furniture, but it is brand new. And so Tarlock is about hour and a half north of Angeles City. Anyway, so look, when people comment, and they always do, I could never live off 1,000 USD a month. Well, listen, you could, you could, and you would if you had no choice, okay? Look, if you have, if, if, if your budget allows double for this, perfect, okay? But I'm just, look, we gotta start somewhere, okay? So this is where we're starting. We're starting with the lowest of lows. You know, I mean, I, I mean, a, a lot of retirees, especially American retirees. A lot of retirees, they got wiped out by their ex-wife and, you know, they, they got wiped out all their money, you know, her half their money gone. But, you know, they just want to enjoy you know, the rest of their life. They want to enjoy it. So how can you enjoy it? You can have not much money in America or you can have not much money in the Philippines. Oh, cool. Very simple. Good bed. Got a table and chair. Yeah. We got this, and is there Wi-Fi? Yeah. There is Wi-Fi, okay. Yeah, and there's a refrigerator. Wow, that's really nice. Microwave like oven. Yes, oh got, my you know, god. Bit, uh, you know, Some stuff, down. yes, yes, yeah. yes. And right there. So this is uh, 18,000 yeah. for one month? Yeah, for one month. Okay, so can I get a day price and a week price? Yeah. The, oh, hot water, okay. The daily price is 1,200 a day. 1,000, okay. Yeah, and the weekly price is 7,000. 7,000, okay. Yeah, uh, you don't need to pay electric on daily, weekly, but on monthly, you have to pay electric. Oh, so 7,000, everything is included? Everything. Wow, okay. And also on the daily, everything is included. Okay, okay. The only thing you have to pay is pure monthly. Pure monthly? Yes. That's the only thing you're going to pay, the electric. And I heard you are uh, American? Yeah, I'm a U.S. Navy retired. Re U.S. Navy retired. How long were you in the Navy? Oh, I, I am 21 years. 21 years. But how? You were Filipino, right? Yeah, but I how? joined. I joined the Navy in the in so, so big Bay Philippines. Yes. What year? 1977. 1977. You joined yeah. the Navy. I joined okay. the Navy here. Okay. Philippines, so big Bay Philippines. Uh, and then uh, they sent me to a training in San Diego. Okay. Yes. Okay. How, how old were you when you joined the Navy? I am uh, 24 years old. But how did you know to join? I mean, why didn't many people join? Why did you join? A lot of people are joining. They did? Yeah, but you have to pass the written Are they still doing time. today or just a long time ago? Long time ago, I think way back uh, in 1977 when I joined the Navy. Okay, so no, but today, can people do the same no, thing? No, no, because there's uh, no more U.S. bases right here. Right, right, right. Okay, yeah. okay. 21 years in the Navy, yeah. and then you come back to the Philippines and retire. Right, yeah. Good. That's a good life? Yeah. That's a good life? Yeah. And what was your name? Uh, my name is Rob. Romy. Yeah. Romy. Okay. Now, let's get into a typical daily life here. In for me, this is Angeles City, Philippines, okay? Now, look, we're here. We're we're in the, this town. It's about an hour and a half, 2 hours north of Manila. It's Angeles City. So, things are a little more expensive here, being, you know, it's heavily convenienced, okay? And they, there's a lot of foreigners and there's a lot of foreigner-owned businesses. For example, 
If you were going to drink beer, you'll likely go to Philly's Bar or Envy's Bar or Margarita Station. But for example, if you're in Hagna Bohol, you will likely buy beer at the local Sorry Sorry store and drink it outside on your patio. So th there's a big difference between where you live. Angeles is not a cheap city to live. So let's go through the day, okay, my day, and see how this is possible. Then we will talk about the externalities at the end, okay? So here we go. So you're going to stay at this place here. You're going to stay at, uh, it's going to be about 18,000 pesos you're going to pay for rent, okay? Now it includes water and internet. So even though you are splurging on rent here, 18,000 pesos compared to the guy I know in Tarlock, who's got an even nicer place for 6,000 pesos, okay? But, you know, consider it does include water and internet, so you don't have those bills to worry about but yeah those bills internet and water they're going to equal about 2500 pesos okay so now we get into the daily food okay let now that's the main thing here the daily food okay and we will add this all up at the end okay but in the morning you know i'm in need of coffee i like good um, hot americano so I walk to the coffee bean and tea leaf at the SM mall, and that is 155 pesos. After a few hours at the coffee shop, you know, with my laptop, I'm doing some YouTube stuff, you know, I will get a snack, and that snack will be one of two things, okay? I will alternate day by day. I'll get, one day I'll get a Cinnabon, the next day I will get a Dairy Queen, okay? So I rotate these between, uh, you know, two days. So, so the blizzard is, it's a 110 pesos. The Cinnabon is 130 pesos, so that averages out to be 120 pesos a day for the snack. So after the snack, I will go to Phillies and get a couple of beers, okay? San Mig Lights with a lemon inside. You know, hey, I wish I were a little more manly, not requiring a lemon inside my San Mig Light, but you know, I like what I like. You know, I mean, squeezing a lemon into the beer sounds a bit on the feminine side. It sounds a bit wimpy, but it does change the flavor of the beer. So I'm proud to admit my liking of squeezing some lemon into my San Mig Light. Okay, so look, I enjoy sitting at Philly's Bar on the perch and having some gentle conversation with the locals or the foreigners who are next to me. I mean, look, I do despise those foreigners who talk crudely to the ladies who are walking by. There are a lot of, you know, there are a lot of prostitutes. Let's call them working girls in the area. And they do walk by. A lot of them do walk by, especially at night. And they want, they want you to buy them, okay? Let's just put it that way. And some guys here, some foreign guys, sad to say, you know, they asked some of the girls, they asked to sort of see the goods, before buying, okay, look, as a former choir boy in a Catholic church of Latter-day Saints, you know, I dislike this act and, you know, I wish they'd be a little more civil. But I'll sit here on the perch for until about 3.30 because that's when my favorite shawarma place opens up. And, you know, I will get a shawarma and a cola. So when you get the shawarma here on Walking Street, okay, you have an option to pay 30 pesos extra for, you know, quote, the special, okay? The special just means more meat, okay? And the options are chicken and uh, beef. But the original, okay, the, the 70 peso one has plenty of meat and I didn't notice any more meat when I ordered the special. So I never ordered the special again. So yeah, don't get the special. Save your 30 pesos. So the shawarma is 70 pesos. <laughs> You okay on the video or no? Yeah. Okay. And the cola is 25 pesos only. So that's 95 pesos. That is very reasonable. That is for a delicious lunch. Okay, shawarma tastes good. After that hard day's work, you know, I'll head home and do some YouTube work and watch some YouTube vids to relax at home. You know, I'm a bit of a homebody sometimes. But, you know, after a few hours at home, I'll feel this urge to go back outside. You know, it's kind of like cabin fever. So... I'll head back out to get some, maybe some vegetable chop suey at the Filipino restaurant. And it is exactly 130 pesos, okay? About three times a week after the chop suey, I'll head back to Phillies and enjoy a beer. I mean, with all the circus that happens around this area at night, it's a bit, it's a bit fun. It's a bit more fun at night, but 
it is also hit and miss. Sometimes it's very fun, sometimes it's a little bit fun, and sometimes nothing's happening there at night. Anyway, after my one beer there, my one nightly beer, I'll walk down Walking Street, but this time I will head back home. Now, if I show Walking Street vid uh, at nighttime, you know, I'll be demonetized here. This won't make any dough, and then I can't pay my rent. Yes, I know, you probably realize I'm a bit of a loner. I'm also cheap, and I have no fun. But hey, you got to understand, this is fun for me. You got to understand, there's 7 billion people on the planet, okay? Everyone has their own definition of what fun is, okay? Another person will have another idea of fun that requires more money. But, you know, right here, what you're seeing here is my idea of fun. I just like to relax, you know? Talk to the guy next to me in the bar or just stare out the street, watch the world go by. That's fun for me. I'm always deep in thought with something, okay? So let's go over my daily budget for food food and everything else. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Coffee is 155 times, you know, 30 days, right? That's 4,650 pesos for coffee. Okay, but hey, I enjoy my coffee. Snacks after coffee, about 120 pesos. It's about 3,600 pesos a month. Okay, a couple beers at Phillies after that uh, equals to about 6,000 pesos pesos. Wow, that really adds up, right? Shawarma lunch is 95 pesos. So that's about 2,850 pesos. But by this time, you are full, okay? Go home, chillax. That's all free, okay? But now, hey, maybe you want to get some dinner that's, you know, I will get the vegetable chop suey, 130 pesos, uh, but about three times a week. It'll equal about 1,560 pesos. So, and then three nights a week after my chop suey, you know, because sometimes I go home, sometimes I go to Philly, depending how I feel. But, you know, if I go back to Philly, I'll sit on the perch, I'll get a beer, you know, that, that you know, that one beer will average, you know, that'll be about a 1,200 pesos a month for this sometimes nightly beer. So food total is about 20,000 pesos a month. Okay, so everything else is more simple. Let's get to the grand total here, folks, okay? So ignore setup costs, you know, like if you get an apartment with no furniture, you gotta buy the furniture, you gotta buy the coffee maker, whatever. These are setup costs, could totally vary, okay? So let's ignore setup costs as that's a one-time cost. Could be 100,000 for one person, 50,000 for another, 200,000 for another. Anyway, it's, it's it's, it's not even really necessary, especially if you stay at this place I'm showing you here. Anyway, but rent, as the guy said, 18,000 pesos, okay? Water and internet's free at this place that I'm recommending, okay? And even at my Airbnb, it's free. But I don't recommend staying where I'm staying here. It kind of sucks. There's not even a table and chair here. It's horrible. So I'm going to recommend a different place, not the place I am staying. So yeah, the rent is 18. The food is 20,000. So right now, it's already already 38,000 pesos. I put toiletries a thousand pesos, but it's probably cheaper. Anyway, so that's 39,000 pesos. Electricity, 3,000 pesos. Okay. Uh, so now we're at 42,000 pesos. Immigration will be about 2,500 a month. So that's 44,500. Now transportation on the original budget, you know, I listed about a 2000 a month in general, okay? But in Angeles, if you're living where where I recommend, okay? Look, I just walk everywhere because it's all nearby. Everything is nearby. So I spend nothing on transportation. So the grand total for the month is 44,500. But, you know, since 1000 USD is about 55,000 pesos, so that leaves about 10,500 pesos for extra money. So since this is Angeles and there are plenty of girls around. They're all over the place. You can have a girlfriend or just, you know, freelancers sometimes with that extra money. They, you know, the girl, you're going to get a girl about 1500 a night if you want a freelancer. So, you know, do the math yourself, how many girls you can get with that a month. But, you know, there we go. Living in a pretty comfortable situation for $1,000 a month. So again, here is the low, basic low budget for the entire country, okay? I made this I made this myself with all the experience that I have here after 20 years of visiting the fills. It's basically as low as you can reasonably go. And, you know, that's the, that a lot of guys, they don't have the options that the richer guys have, okay? So respect to the low budget guys, okay? So just adjust. If you got 2000 a month, just double what you see here, okay? So just adjust to whatever your budget is. Uh, I know I know guys who make 10,000 USD a month, Cal, right? 
with their New York pensions, you know, and they can have as much fun. And there's an unlimited amount of fun they can have with that 10000 a month for the rest of their life. So listen, I hope you work with this budget if needed, if, if money is an issue for you, and just change your daily routine for whatever budget that you have, okay? Whatever makes you happy. So you got to think about your happiness, what makes you happy, and how much money you have coming in, okay? But I hope this helps. I do hope this helps people with their, you know, planning to come to the fills, and that's it. That's it. That is the budget video for Angela City. Adios. Adios to my very great friends. And I will see you on the very next Vitorino. Cool. Okay. Okay, go on. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everybody. What's your name, first name? Scott. Scott? Yeah. Okay, but one time you said shout out to Scott. Okay, I will do that. I, I didn't from, know. No, I didn't know for sure. No, no, no. I, one time you said shout oh. out to she, you said shout out to Scott. I don't know if it's me or another person, but I anyway, think, say regular guy. I think it's you. Regular okay, guy. good. I just regular guy. Okay, man. Okay, buddy.